A reminder of our top story this hour. Hong Kong demonstrators are gathering this evening to rally international support for their protest against a controversial extradition bill. All this is happening as world leaders are set to meet at the G20 summit in Osaka. Now, China has already said the Hong Kong protests are an internal issue that's off limits to other countries. And for more on this, Professor Bingling, Associate Director of the Center for Asian at and Pacific Law at the University of Sydney, joins us live. Professor, China has repeatedly warned foreign countries against interfering in its domestic affairs. Are protesters poking the bear here by calling on foreign leaders to raise this issue? Well, this is something that China for uh, a long time, uh, the governance of Hong Kong, uh, to be an internal issue uh, for China. Uh, the protesters uh, have shown their strength. It is only natural that they are taking the next step and uh, pushing the matter to the international forum. I think China will be strongly resisting that and uh, other countries will just need to decide what to do about it. So if foreign leaders, such as President Donald Trump, uh, the U.S. president, if they do discuss or bring it up at the G20 summit, how do we expect or how do you expect China to react? Uh, I think China will stick to the line that the Hong Kong matter uh, is China's internal affair. Uh, the Hong Kong government has for some time uh, try to justify uh, this law uh, as a way of promoting cooperation in criminal uh, justice, making sure that uh, criminals do not uh, uh, flee uh, from uh, criminal trials. Uh, what I think uh, China and Hong Kong governments so far have not uh, understood very well is the depth of fear and anxiety uh, within the Hong Kong public. Uh, about what this law may do uh, to the uh, civil liberties and the human rights uh, in, in, uh, in Hong Kong. Uh, I think foreign governments uh, have a voice to express here. Uh, the matter of Hong Kong, especially the human rights situation in Hong Kong, has an international uh, dimension. But right now, the relationship of China with the international community uh, is becoming quite complex. There are a number of disputes uh, that are uh, at display at this moment. Uh, how much uh, of a role that uh, this Hong Kong uh, situation will uh, play uh, in uh, this multilateral uh, diplomacy, I think we just need to wait and see. Professor, arguably, the depth of that fear and anxiety, as you put it, that the protesters are experiencing um, has seen the fact that, you know, they're responding to the extradition bill being suspended. Uh, not very well. They aren't giving up. What are the chances here that the government is going to give in to their demands at this stage? Well, uh, look, extradition in normal circumstances uh, is a useful thing. Uh, it can prevent uh, criminals from fleeing justice. China has made extradition treaties with several Western countries, with France, Italy, Spain, South Korea, and so on. And nobody is saying that uh, the human rights situation in these countries are jeopardized. But Hong Kong is quite different. Hong Kong is close to China. The people in Hong Kong are very well aware of the the human rights conditions, the criminal justice system uh, in, in, in China. For many years, the people in Hong Kong can uh, sleep in the night uh, believing that, that their system, the Hong Kong system, is insulated from China. Uh, whatever is going on in mainland China, as long as you stay in Hong Kong, you are fine. Now, that firewall is being breached by this new law, and that's why people are, uh, are afraid, and that's why people are expressing their, their anxiety in this very strong way. Unfortunately, it seems that the Hong Kong government, the chief executive, has not so far uh, got it. Uh, she, I think, is still believing that the law is a good thing uh, for Hong Kong, and she is refusing to withdraw the bill altogether. So. Uh, I think this will be a political uh, football game to be played. 
it, it seems that uh, uh, there is no realistic hope that this bill will be coming up uh, anytime soon. Mm. But uh, uh, I think mm. un until and unless the Chinese and Hong Kong government understood the situation, uh, this will uh, continue. A, a game to be played, certainly, but for how long? Uh, Professor, thank you very much for your thoughts and perspective on that. Professor Bingling, uh, there we were speaking to, Associate Director of the Centre of Asian and Pacific Law at the University of Sydney.